The Presidential Anti-Organized Crime Commission of PAOC called suspended Bambantarlac Mayor Alice Guo a primary enabler of illegal pogos. Now, PAOC spokesperson Winston Castro said they discovered digital footprints establishing Guo's connection to scam hubs in Bamban and in Porak, Pampanga. The agency is now preparing their evidence against Go. They are also planning or planning to file additional charges against the suspended mayor before the Justice Department next week. The Palapas said to the mayor, is a primary enabler. Uh, her participation in Baufu is quite clear. Once na buo na natin yung ebidensya sa pat para may tampa uh, ang mga nakaragdagang kaso, ay uh, isasampa na po natin ito sa DOJ Main. Yun. Don't go away. Ay, hindi ba natin pag-uusapan yeah, yun? <laughs> Pag-usapan muna natin saglit itong uh, uh, connection nga supposed ni Mayor Alice, suspended Mayor yes, Alice Wu, ito. dito sa mga malalaking uh, Pogo. Pogo Hub, both, eh, both in Pampanga and in Tarlac. Yung Tarlac, yung nauna kasi na na-raided, na diba? So, oh, kasi you know, initially, when they raided it separately, sabi ni uh, ng PAOC, the information uh, parang that they got for these Porak raids, also may have uh, nanggaling sa pag-raid nila sa Bamban, mm-hmm. Tarlac. Because may mga certain link na tinitignan, possible link na tinitignan oh, nila. They have to establish it further pa. Exactly. And oh. they were, they have su- sufficient evidence, sabi nga ni uh, spokesperson ng, uh, ng PAOC, si Winston so, Casho. Sabi niya, meron silang enough evidence. Uh, pero hindi pa nila ma-divulge. Yes. Today, kasi they're still, you know, um, very, processing it. Be, no, kasi tsaka very sensitive to until they act on it. They want to keep it quiet. Totoo. Because, kasi marami din mga biglang sumusulpot ng mga pangalan. Oh, na tsaka nagka-issue rin sila. Connected. Remember, nag, nag-apply pa lang sila ng, ng warrant. Remember? Mm-hmm. Yung judge, eh, biglang na-deny sila. Yes, oh. tapos there were leaks supposedly kasi yes, nakita so. nila nung pagdating nila dun sa raid, may mga umaalis na. So they're very careful now. May mga nakatulog ng, uh, ng raid na oh. ginawa nila. So ang sinabi nga ni Senator Wynne Gatchalian dito, and I quote, My first impression is that we have seen that this is the most brutal, violent, and largest hub that we have ever been to, yung sa Porak Pampanga. Pampang. The evidence is really strong that there was torture, prostitution, uh, and they found a passport. Uh, so, uh, ang tinitingnan din natin dyan, meron bang mga malalaking personalidad na connected din dito, hindi lamang si... And possible though, your... possible 50 plus deaths, di ba, ang tinitingnan nila dito. Uh, based sa mga videos, based sa mga yes. testimony, but they're, they're verifying reports Yes, pa. yung mga possible deaths na yan, mga foreign-looking din. Oh. Kasi I remember when we interviewed yung uh, uh, former director ng uh, Pampanga Ch- Chamber of Commerce, hmm. uh, sinabi nga niya, they were, hindi daw nare-report na mga nakikita mga bangkay, minsan po, oh, kasi, they have, et kasi they have their own crem- crematorium. Oh, oh, they cremate why, right away. Hindi, ito, mga nakikita nila, hindi nila kinik. Nakikita daw, may mga sa ibang lugar, dyan sa Pampanga, mm. makikita nila, may patay, pugot ang ulo. May mga ganong insidente na hindi nga natin alam eh. Mm. Diba? Kung hindi lang na ano tong pogo na to. Baka hindi nila nalink pa at that That's time. why, yung parang regional office, if I'm not mistaken, I have yet to check uh, the details on that. Na, kaya suspended muna. Kasi yung regional office mm. ng PNP, no? Because nga, may mga crimes na nangyayari na hindi na report din. So, yun ang titignan din nila. So, malaki talaga, lumalawak itong nangyayari dito sa, sa Pogo Hub na to.